How's it going guys? It's been a while since I last saw you. Last time you guys saw me, I was just a high school student. Now I'm a college student with a lot of assignments, but that won't stop me from procrastinating and making a YouTube video instead. If you're new here, my name is Alex, I'm a CS student, and in this video I'll be showing you my 2021 desk setup. Let's get to it. The main rule I follow for my desk setup is for it to be minimalist and empty, just like my life. The first thing about my desk setup is the desk. It is an Ikea Linman and Alex Jor combo. It is great as it has a lot of desk space and space for me to store stuff away to keep my desktop clutter free. The next thing about my desk setup would be my laptop. It is a 2019 15 inch MacBook Pro, but before that I was using a 2015 13 inch MacBook Pro. Although I have been using MacBooks for 6 years now, I actually no longer use this as my daily driver. After years of debating and being told Apple sucks and that I should get a real PC, the Apple fanboy in me finally gave in and built a PC. So I actually have two computers. For those of you that want to know, it is an Intel 10th Gen i9-10900K with an NVIDIA RTX 2070 Super Founders Edition with 32 gigs of RAM. It is what I use every day for schoolwork or get I mean high FPS homework, as it is extremely powerful and can do a lot of demanding tasks. Like my need to have hundreds of unnecessary tabs open at once while also running some totally school related program, I primarily use the MacBook for photo and video editing or when I can't be home and need something portable to do my work. I also prefer photo and video editing on the MacBook as I feel it is much simpler and more streamlined to navigate. As for my peripherals, I use a Logitech MX Keys paired with a Logitech MX Master 3. Since the idea is to have a minimalist setup, having a wireless keyboard and mouse helps to reduce wires on the desk and gives it a cleaner look. I have been asked why I don't use a mechanical keyboard and the reason is because after mainly using laptops all of my life, I do prefer a more low profile keyboard and the MX Keys does this perfectly. Something I don't like about this keyboard though is that it is a full size keyboard and that I have to reach across the keyboard to access the arrow keys. I also almost never use the number pad as it is quite pointless. That aside, this keyboard is great as it can be set to three different devices so I can use it for my PC and my laptop. The mouse overall is just the perfect mouse for productivity. Both keyboard and mouse do have some customizability as they can program certain keys to do different things in the Logitech options software. For my monitor, I have two because it makes me feel important. For my main monitor, I use an LG 27 inch Ultra Gear QHD Nano IPS HDR monitor. And for my second monitor, I use an LG 27 inch 4K UHD IPS HDR 10 monitor. This monitor has USB-C so I can connect my MacBook to it and have two displays and get more editing done. I used to have two of these monitors, but after switching to a dedicated PC, I was no longer capped at 60Hz, so I replaced one of them with a 165Hz monitor for when I need high refresh rate for doing homework. For accessories, on the left side of my desk I have a 5th gen 12.9 inch iPad Pro for note taking as it helps to streamline note taking and reduce the number of notebooks I keep. Instead, storing everything into one tablet that won't take up much space, also helping to find specific notes, making it much easier than looking through two to three different notebooks for a certain topic. On top of the iPad, I keep a TI-84 calculator in case I need to quickly solve a difficult problem. To the side of my desk, we have my rectangles. They are on almost all the time as I don't use my main room light because I feel like the introvert I am should be in a darker environment, so I use the rectangles most of the time, as they are meant to give off moody slash warmer lighting for a comfier vibe. They are also on most of the time because the position of my desk actually gets barely any light from the window even when it's daytime outside. For times when I actually need more lighting than this, I have a BenQ screen bar as it helps to light up the table so I don't have to turn on my main room lights. That just sits on top of my main monitor to help free up desk space. On top of my second monitor sits a Logitech Brio for when I actually turn on my camera for classes or meetings, which is never. Next to my MacBook, I keep a wireless phone charger to charge my phone since I spend 90% of my time at my desk and never leave. To the right of the wireless charger, we have my Nintendo Switch which I don't really use anymore, so it just sits there far away from reaching distance, sad and alone, like me. 
To hide the cables and make the desk more minimal, I have two monitors on a Vivo dual monitor desk mount, as it helps to give the monitors a floating look and free up space underneath them. I also have cable management hooks to hide the cables away. Underneath the desk I have a J-channel cable raceway, and that is held up with 3M tape. All that routes to behind the Alex drawers, where there is a power strip held up by command strips. I also have two Alex drawers as I need another to hold the PC and it gives me more storage space. It also helps to hide the cable clutter behind the desk. For the chair I got something purely for looks. It is the IKEA, I'm not going to try to pronounce that, with no armrest or wheels. For aesthetics, this chair is nice, but after sitting in it for a bit it starts to get uncomfortable. So this is what I call a big brain move on my part, but for now I don't plan on replacing it as there are no more organs left to sell. For aesthetics, I have a shelf I found at Ross where I have a few decorations on it like my Rubik's Cube and some candles that I don't really use anymore. I also have a Pikachu and Eevee Pop to match with the Switch and a photo I took back in high school. I also have one of the first cameras that I received back when I started photography on there and a custom-made clay DSLR that a friend had made for me. As of now, I'm still just a freshman in the first quarter of college, so I don't know the pain I will go through yet until a few more quarters of suffering. So my setup will most likely start to change then to make it more efficient for getting work done. But for now, this is all. Thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, good on you. I hope I didn't disappoint you too much. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If not, hit the dislike button. If you have any questions, comment down below. Since I have no life, I'll probably respond to it eventually, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.